article about Bill Gates, and Bill Gates now is uh, doing a startup to stop cows from burping. Now, some people call it cow farting, but it's mostly cow burping. The, the cows are burping methane. Now, the cows sometimes do fart, but when they say farting, you'll figure out that most of them are really talking about the burping of methane. And this is going to stop climate change. You can't even make this up. Now, Bill Gates is the fellow who rides around on private jets all the time. And him and all these elites ride on private jets. And they're telling you about freaking cows burping. And so now what he's going to do is uh, he's going to come up with a new solution. Now, is a solution. It's a company in Australia that's exploring some type of dietary supplements for cows. So now they're going to be giving your cows. We don't know what the hell they're going to be giving them. But this new company from what Bill Gates is teaming up with, this is what it's going to be doing. Now, I've, I've also heard that they got some called uh, Producers Pride. It's chicken feed sold by Tractor Supply Chain. It, 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 it alters the way they say now. This is what the, the survey says, is that chickens are laying less eggs because of this new feed they're giving the chickens. Does, it sound, does that sound a little suspicious to you, that they will be doing stuff like this? But anyway, Bill Gates and this Australian uh, climate technology company, Rumen 8 or something like that, has, um, I think they said it's, this is phase two of his uh, seed funding round is led by Bill Gates. And, and it, they're gonna, supposed to be doing some kind of feed for farming. This, I guess, is why Bill Gates is buying all the farm laying up. Because they're telling farmers not to farm. And now they're telling, I guess, Bill Gates is going to buy the farmland up to be able to, to do this feed even in, in America. But this particular uh, phase they're talking about is in Australia. Now, I ask you, why is it that Bill Gates, everything he gets involved with, it never really works. And everybody keeps talking about all the great things he's done. How long he's been involved in vaccination? Now, if he's so damn smart, why hasn't he fixed anything? Why hasn't Bill Gates fixed world hunger? He keeps talking about what he's going to do. But you notice every time he gets involved with something, it ends up being worse than when he got, in, got involved in it. But he's spending now, I don't know how much money, it's a couple of million dollars they're spending for this new startup. Now, you remember when they had, back in the day, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember when it first started, 2000. I don't know if it was 2013, 15, or whatever. But you remember that thing they were calling it the Green Revolution in Africa? Bill Gates and the Rockefellers were considering one of the most, who, who's uh, Rockefellers was one, one, one of the most powerful families, right? Bill Gates and the Rockefellers team up together for this Green Revolution. Now, if you go talk to the farmers in Africa, they say is that it's caused malnutrition, increased malnutrition. Ever since Bill Gates and the Rockefellers came in, it's causing malnutrition. So Green Revolution in Africa did not work. Bill Gates didn't stop. He's the one who's going around saying he's vaccinating everybody. Nothing Bill Gates has done has actually worked. Now, he's getting rich off this. Why he don't really need Microsoft anymore? He's getting rich off all these other uh, programs that he's doing. Why he's buying farmland. And then when you go look at the articles, they always says it's a conspiracy. I saw an interview in Bill Gates. They said they was talking to Bill Gates. Bill Gates says, I don't understand why these conspiracy people keep thinking I'm evil. <laughs> you you want to know why we think you evil. Well, I can think of a million different things why we think you evil, but we can start with this whole farming thing. Now, ask Bill Gates about the Green Revolution in Africa and go talk to the folks who was over there. They admit the farmer says not only did the program not work because they said it was going to help the farmers produce more food and they would actually have more money. They said they become poor and they are more malnutritious over there ever since Bill Gates came in. Everything he does is not working. But everybody says he's the biggest foundation in America. You mean a foundation he's over with? They pretend like he gave his money to the damn foundation that he's over. Can't make this stuff up. And people are bragging on what he's doing. So the Green Revolution in Africa didn't work. I think they were calling it the Alliance uh, for a Green Revolution in Africa. Acronym is like A-G-R-A. Nonprofit lunch by Bill and Melinda Gates. 
and Rockefeller Foundation. Oh, this was launched in 2006 with promises. They were promising to double yields and incomes for 30 million farming households. But we found out that it's not true. <laughs> we found out that they didn't do a damn thing. So Bill Gates is also pushing this genetically modified seeds. It's just like everything else these people push. Synthetic meat. He's the one advocating synthetic meat. Have, have you ever just looked at Bill Gates? Nobody who's a billionaire who dresses like that and looks like that, am I going to listen to? He looks sloppy. There is no excuse. It, it ain't even working for you. Anybody who looks like creepy Bill, I'm not listening to him. He's worth a billion dollars. I can understand if Bill Gates was a poor man looking like he looks. But if you're worth a billion, that's offensive for him to be worth a billion dollars and looks like he looks a hot mess. He dresses like a hot mess. He's got a big pot belly. You worth a billion dollars. Maybe the synthetic food is causing you to look like that. Now, if you look at Bill Gates, you want to say, you know what? I want to look like Bill Gates. I'm not saying from a facial feature, but look at him. He's telling us how to eat healthy and stuff, and he looks a hot mess. He's going to try to lecture the rest of us, uh, us on this genetically modified seeds and this synthetic meat and all the whole nine yards. I'm looking at you, Bill. You're worth billions and you look like this. If I was thinking about eating this uh, synthetic meat, if I was thinking about uh, seeing how wonderful this genetically modified seeds was, I'll take one look at Bill Gates and says, no, thank you. The hell are you looking like this? He need to be charged with a penalty. He need to have be fined for looking like that worth a billion dollars. No billionaire should be looking like that. He's got no excuse. Poor people may have excuse. They can't eat no better food. But he got the best nutrition. He got he can eat whatever he wants to eat. He can exercise. He can do whatever he wants. He can go have an operation. And then have a damn makeover. Somebody tell this fool how to dress. This fool is worth billions of dollars. All he talks, this is like, seem like the most miserable man. Does Bill Gates seem like a happy dude to you? He seems like the most miserable individual I've ever seen. Always lecturing somebody on some genetically modified seeds, talking about vaccination and feeding the hungry and everywhere else. And everything he does has failed. If I, if even if Bill Gates was a was a success with this quote genetically modified seeds, even if if it was a success with with all these other things that ventures that he's done. If I look at him and say, this dude is worth a billion dollars and he looks like that, I'm offended. He's a, I'm offended by looking at Bill Gates. It's, he's offensive to me. Fellow worth billions and billions of dollars. He looks a hot mess. Look how he dressed. Look at his hair. He can't even get a damn decent haircut. It's shameful. And get some damn regular looking glasses. Can't you get some glasses look better than that? And those ugly sweaters he wears. Those freaking ugly slacks he wears. Reminds me of my fifth grade uh, school teacher. Unbelievable how a hot mess he looks. Go lex somebody on some biotechnology, farming methods. Fool, go get a makeover. Hell is wrong with you. Looking a hot mess worth billions of dollars. I, I declare it should be against the law for a billionaire to look like that. I'm serious now. I'm serious. There's no way no billionaire should be looking like that. He looks a hot mess. At least you look at some of the other rich people and say, well, at least they dress okay. Bill, Bill, Bill Gates dresses He's the worst dressed billionaire I've ever seen. He's in the worst shape of any billionaire I've ever seen. Okay, that may be a stretch, but it's a close one out of billionaires. It ain't too many billionaires who looks a hot mess like him. It's not. I think it's a millionaire like Michael Moore's a hot mess. But I don't know no billionaires who looks like Bill Gates. At least they're going to usually be slimmer. They're going to usually be dressed well. Because they're going to they're gonna usually give a bunch of Botox and everything. But this man looks a hot mess. Will somebody get this fool a makeover? He can afford it, can he? But he's so miserable. He's so busy trying to control you. Dude, go buy yourself an island and go somewhere and die in peace. Damn it. The time you see Bill Gates, he's all up in our business. This man has nothing better to do. This is one of the most miserable men I've ever seen. I know poor homeless people who are not as miserable as Bill Gates. Always running his pie hole trying to lecture somebody. I ain't listening to nothing no... If a billionaire looks like this, I'm not listening to a damn thing he say just on looks. Clown you. Go do a makeover or something before you start lecturing me about synthetic food and, and all this other mess he's talking about. Vaccination, feeding the hungry, all this kind of stuff. 
I don't care about that. I can't get past how you look. Freaking billionaire looking like that right there. It's offensive. I'm offended. Every time I look at Bill Gates, I get offended. I'm like, would you look at this dude? I was looking at this picture. I said, damn. This freaking dude is a billionaire. This is a, I would, it's got to be against the law for a billionaire to look like that. I'm serious. No, no, he needs to be fine or something. Lecture somebody on everything else. You don't even take yourself serious. You look at you. Have you looked in the mirror? That's why your wife probably left you. That and you hanging with Jeffrey Epstein, one of the two. Clown you, trying to lecture us on something. Clown, go get a makeover or something.